Hey guys, Spuds here, and so I'm going to show you how to download and play the game Harvester. So, there are a lot of other guides, but they're bound to lead you to either having a game breaking bug where as soon as you attack someone the game crashes, or you'll get to a part where you need to change discs and you won't know how to do that. But today I'm going to show you how to do all that stuff and have the game run properly. So the first thing you need is DOSBox. This is what emulates the game. You can get it by going to DOSBox.com and click on the downloads. And they choose the one that corresponds to your operating system. After you do that, you need to actually get the game harvester. But thankfully, archive.org has the ISO right there for you. What you're going to want to download is the zip, because the zip contains all the stuff you need. This isn't any good. So once you download the zip, you'll have Harvester 1996 pop up somewhere. You need to know where it is, and then you need to extract that file somewhere. And you'll get this, you know. I already did it, so I don't need it. Then you'll get your harvest folder, and you have all your shit in it. And uh, I think you should open the ISO in another page, because you're going to need to know where all the ISOs are. We'll save that for later, though. For now, go back to DOSBox, open up DOSBox and you'll have this shit pop up. What are you going to do with it? Go back to your ISO, find out where that is. So you actually need to know the location of your ISOs. I think you, you can just copy the address as text, that's very easy. But you can't just copy and paste into this, so you need to somehow tell DOSBox where your ISOs are. Easiest way to do that in my opinion, open up a notepad, copy and paste your thing, and there you have it right there. But you can't just put that in there, it doesn't do anything. So you need to put I M IMG mount D, and then the location of your ISO. So for me, it's IMG mount D C colon. So D is the name of my drive. That I'm you know making an artificial drive in DOSBox, and I'm going to tell it where the location of my ISO is. Emulators harvest. ISO. And then you need to tell it the name of the disk you want. You want disk 1. The other ones won't do any good right now. And then you tell it dash T ISO. It tells it what kind of file it is. Alright, so it mounted my ISO properly. That's not the only thing I need to do. I need to also mount C colon. And I guess I should have explained this before. You're going to need to go to your... You're going to need to make a separate folder for it to install the game beforehand. Probably good to point out. Yeah, th this is what prevents a crash, though, so bear with me. Go to just some drive you have on your computer, make a new folder, name it whatever the fuck you want. I like to name it just DOS so I can remember it easily. This is an empty folder. So you mount C as C colon backslash DOS, whatever the fuck the name of your empty ass folder is. Empty, easy to get to, easy to remember. Mount that shit. Mount it. Then you need to go back to your D drive within DOS. So now you see I put in D colon backslash. That brings me back to my D drive. So it knows that D drive is just the ISO. So that means I can just hit install. And oh my gosh, it knows what the fuck it's doing. Hit enter here. Full install. This is what fucks the game up. Don't let it make a subfolder. Just do C colon slash. Enter. Looks good. Fuck that. Now, all you need to do is type in harvest, <coughs> and the game will start up. Fantastic. However, if we get to the point where it needs to change discs, this will not be good enough. So, we're going to need to figure out how to install, how to mount, rather, how to mount every ISO. Get this shell on my face. Alright, so. The easiest way to do that is to make a auto exec for your DOS box. Alright, now I'll show you how to make a auto exec so that DOS box boots into the game as soon as you open it, and it'll also load up all the ISOs. So you'll be able to change discs while you're playing the game, which is necessary to get past, you know, just the first third of it. So you're gonna make a new text document, name it DOS box. Go ahead and open it so it's blank, but I'm going to go ahead and show you what to put in there. So I kind of already typed it out, but uh, I'll show you me pasting it back over. So you need 
auto exec in brackets. It needs to do the img mount d again. And then after that, you're going to go ahead and find your ISOs, copy their address, paste it. And now you need to list out each ISO, disk one dot ISO, paste it again. Backslash disk two dot ISO, and then back paste it one more time. Backslash disk three dot ISO, dash t ISO. And after that, you need to do the good old fashioned mount c c colon slash dos and now we go to the c folder and then tell it to harvest now you need to save it as all types dos box go ahead and put dot conf at the end of that that tells it's a config file now you open up dos box and here we go uh, if you don't know, you can hit Alt Enter to make it full screen. And uh, to get out of that, you just hit Alt Tab. And you can get back to it. Alt Enter again. Alt Enter, get rid of that. Click Tutorial. Now I'm going to show you that you can uh, change disks. So here I've put a save where I'm right about to change disks. So this is insert to CD2. So normally it'd be like, what the fuck are you going to do? But we've already mounted all the ISOs. So all you do is hit Control F4. Then you left click. And the game continues. This is the next part of the game. Alright. So. I hope that helped you. And uh. I'll put all the shit in the description. Got any questions, paste them in the comments. Uh. I really enjoyed this game, and uh, if you want me to do a full review on it, I might get around to it. See ya.